Hey, welcome back to the channel. This week is all about a discussion between a common debate that we experience within the photography world, which is film versus digital. Now, to create this discussion and have a little bit of an experiment with all this, I decided to go out and make some photos with a digital camera and just explain what I felt and what I experienced along the way. The reason that I want to do this is right now in Australia, there is absolutely no stock with any C41 chemicals and the cost of posting and developing my film at Good Labs is far too expensive for me to afford with a time like this. However, we have an alternative. Most of us have an iPhone or a digital camera that we used to use and then upgraded into a film mindset or a film world. For me, I've got plenty of decent digital cameras and I also have quite a decent iPhone to be able to take these photos on. So I'm going to edit some of these photos right now and then play you out a photo walk just like I would with a film camera and see kind of how you feel about the results. It's an interesting thing to explore because we have these tools at our hands and when times like this happen, we don't have access to all the resources that we're used to we can still make images and we can still interact with our world and explore things in new ways and train skills that we have learned from film and translate them to digital. So let's have a look at some of these photos when I had a little walk around earlier this morning. <laughs> So in watching that video, what does it make you think? For me, it makes me realize that maybe shooting exclusively in film is not really the best idea. Along with a lot of costs, there is a fair bit of waste and if you're developing yourself, you become quite aware of the amount of water that you simply tip down the drain with large amounts of bleach and sometimes salt in them. And for me, that isn't a very comfortable thing to to do and to be a part of. So I've got all these resources around me when times like this happen, when you don't have the money or whatever to continue shooting film, potentially be open to the fact that shooting digital is not shameful, it is not, it is not a cop out. You can learn so much and you can take so much over to the digital sphere that you've learned from shooting film. For example, I only take one photo of every thing that I frame up, I take my time, I pretend in my head that it is a film photo. There's so many little ways that we can use the world of photography to connect with the world and just because you don't have money or you don't have the ability to develop your film doesn't mean you should stop interacting and stop being a part of it. I've actually been so excited to put this out because it's been on my mind a lot lately and I've felt a weird emotional connection to film, however I really wanted to shoot photos and I couldn't so this has been my answer if you've liked this video please hit the like button down below and if you haven't already over 90 percent of people who will see this do not subscribe so please hit that subscribe button for me it's been an absolute pleasure to be back here thank you for watching I'll see you next week cheers